in Revelation chapter number 22 and verse 18 and verse 19, he said, For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book, if any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of this holy city and from the things which are written in this book. And I'm here to tell you uh, that the men and women who either translated these new perversions or either uh, helped uh, translate them as far as being editors or anything like that and had any hand in these uh, new age uh, versions that are on the market today, they are in trouble with God. Uh, they are in trouble uh, with God Almighty who sits on his throne. He does not take it lightly to have perverted uh, the very word of God. And they've went past uh, just trying to make it easier to understand. That's what I hear a lot of. Uh, but they've went way far past that. Uh, they have mutilated uh, the blessed word of God. And God is not happy about it because uh, he... Uh, he holds his word as high as anything else, and we ought to hold his word uh, very high. We ought to steam his word and believe his word and live his word. Uh, but all these other uh, perversions, all they do is promote confusion. As a pastor would get up in these liberal churches, these big mega churches and things of that nature, uh, even in a church that would have just a handful of people that would not use the King James Bible, the preacher may get up. And he may use the King James Bible, he may not. Uh, but a lot of times in this day and age we live in, he will open up the Bible, read a verse, and you'll have several families, several people in the pews looking at one another saying, I, I don't even have that verse in my Bible. Or they're looking at it and they say, you know, that, that does not even say the same thing my Bible says. And you've got several different people uh, have several different readings of that same verse and people are scratching their heads and say, which one is the real one? And it's confusion. And the devil, he is the author of confusion. He is the author of that confusion. God is not the author of confusion. Satan is. And people have just followed this stuff uh, by the groves. And they're uh, just really, the devil's leading them off to a path of destruction uh, when he's tampered with God's word. And uh, the devil hates the King James Bible. Uh, may I say that he hates everything to do uh, with this book. And therefore, his children hate uh, this Bible. And one of the reasons why people can't understand, the main reason why people cannot understand the King James Bible, is the Bible says the natural man receiveth not the things of God. Neither can they. they there is, it is impossible for them to understand uh, the Word of God. But it is proven Time after time after time, uh, you do not have to have a college education. You don't have to have uh, 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 the wisdom of this world uh, to understand this book. It's, it's already been proven that the King James Bible is easier to read and easier to understand than these modern uh, perversions where they took one-syllable words and changed them to multi-syllable words. And yet they say the King James Bible is harder to understand, but it's just a disguise of the devil. And I'm going to turn to Jeremiah chapter number 23. Jeremiah chapter number 23. And it talks about uh, people perverting the Word of God. People perverting the Word of God in Jeremiah 23 and verse 36. It says this, And the burden of the Lord shall you mention no more, for every man's word shall be his burden. For ye have perverted the words of the living God, of the Lord of hosts, our God. And this is what they're guilty of, is perverting uh, the very words of God. And God is not happy. He is angry, just as he was before. You know, the Bible says he's angry with the wicked every day. And he's still angry of people perverting his word. It goes on to say this, Thus shalt thou say to the prophet, What hath the Lord answered thee? And why hath the Lord spoken? But since ye say the burden of the Lord, therefore thus saith the Lord, because ye say this word, the burden of the Lord, I have sent unto you, saying, Ye shall not say the burden of the Lord. Therefore, behold, I, even I, will utterly forget you, and I will forsake you in the city that I gave you, 
and your fathers and cast you out of my presence. He goes on to say, and I will bring an everlasting reproach upon you and a perpetual shame which shall not be uh, forgotten. And people are in trouble uh, with God. And it's clear to me, uh, just as really as anything can be, uh, that the New Age movement have uh, succeeded in their plan. Uh, their plan is to infiltrate every church that they can, every home uh, that they can go in and devour and devastate uh, with their doctrines and with their teachings and with their uh, uh, corruption of God's Word uh, because they're moving uh, towards a, a one-world religion. And that plan that they have is not an overnight plan. Uh, but it's moving slowly towards a, a, a one world uh, religion and they've got to have a one world uh, Bible and it could be the NIV, the New International Version, it could be that or it could be some other uh, Bible that's waiting in the wings to come out and that people hadn't seen yet and yet that they're all corrupt, they all fall short of the glory of God and that's why one of the reasons I believe that the King James Bible is uh, the Bible for today for the English speaking people. It is uh, uh, the glory of God. It gives God the glory. It gives Christ uh, the preeminence. And the new uh, age movement is has picked up speed. Even in our churches, even in our preachers and our so-called Christians are, are leaning towards that. And these new versions, re they're catering to that plan because most of the translators, most of the editors, and anybody had anything to do with these New Age uh, versions, they agree, they line up with the New Age movement. They line up and agree to, uh, totally uh, with their plan and with their agenda. And, and that's one of the reasons why uh, the New Age movement is picking up so much speed concerning that. And it's, before I close in this particular uh, session here, let me ask you something. In the NIV, in the, in the NASV, is, uh, are they talking about Christ or are they talking about Lucifer? In Isaiah chapter number 14, let's look there uh, for a moment. Isaiah chapter number 14 and verse number 12. This is the only mention of Lucifer in the entire Bible. But yet the NIV in the NASV, it could be others, I didn't have time to look it up. It could be a whole lot more uh, perverted uh, scriptures out there that has done this, but I do know these two for sure, have took the name Lucifer out of Isaiah uh, 14 and verse 12. And they just put, they replaced, they didn't only just remove that word Lucifer out, but they put the word morning star in Isaiah 14, 12. And let me ask you, does this not promote confusion for those who do know the Bible? In Revelation 22, uh, verse 16, uh, where it clearly uh, uh, references Christ as being the morning star. Let's read uh, Isaiah 14, 12. Uh, it says, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground which this weak in the nations? For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High, yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble, and that did shake kingdoms, that made the world as a wilderness and destroy the cities thereof that open not the house of, of its prisoners. Here we see uh, the, the, really the, the description of Lucifer. And if, de if the devil could take his name out of that and replace it with something else, because you see here in these particular scriptures, there's five I wills here that Satan uh, wanted to uh, come across. He said, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation the sides of the north. He said, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. That is 
his plan. That is his purpose. And the thing about it is he knows he's a defeated foe, that he will never do that. And here is a description how Lucifer was cast out of heaven. It says right here in verse 12, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did weaken the nations? But yet, then I be in the NASV, seem to take it upon themselves to take that name Lucifer out and replace it with Morning Star, which is a clear reference to the Lord Jesus Christ. And there's a lot of people think they're one and the same, Lucifer and Christ. But that's far from the truth. I like confusion there. Which, who are they talking about? Is it Lucifer or is it Christ? Because in the Hebrew, there is no translation here for morning star. But yet they put it there uh, numerous times. And, and look at 2 Peter 1.19 real quick to see what it says. As another reference to Christ being the morning star. Or, or and because see, the NASV, they uh, compound, they multiply their deception in their reference in Isaiah uh, 14, 12, right beside it. They'll put 2 Peter 1, 19. And 2 Peter 1, 19 is a clear reference to Christ. And they multiply their deception in pointing uh, Isaiah 14, 12, uh, to Christ. It's just deception, out and out uh, manipulation of the Word of God and confusing people. But 2 Peter 1 19, uh, it says this. Let me get to the right scripture here. 2 Peter 1 19, it says right here, We have also a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto ye do well that ye take heed as a, unto a light that shineth in a dark place until the day dawn and the day star rise in your hearts. That right there is talking about Christ. And yet the NASV takes upon themselves to replace the word or the name Lucifer, put in the uh, name Morning Star, and then right beside that verse they put the reference of 2 Peter 1, uh, 119, which is a clear reference to Christ. Who are they talking about? Confusion after confusion. They have perverted the words of the living God, and they are in trouble with the Lord.